What is up YouTube? Today we have a fun video for all of you. We're gonna be changing the pace a little and we're gonna do kind of like a pack battle sort of video. So on the right side we have our first contender, the H20 Ultra Ball Tin. And on the left side we have the D21 Quick Ball. For those of you that don't know, Pokeball has come out with these tins on multiple different occasions and every time they signify what like variety they are based on this little number on the bottom. So H20 I believe is actually from 2021 surprisingly and D21 is the newest variety of Pokeball tins. We're going to start off with the newer of the two tins, the D21 tin, because I do know what comes inside for the most part. Um, I think it's a guaranteed Cosmic Eclipse pack, which is really exciting since those are a little order, older, not order. Um, and I think the rest are like Rebel Clash and Sun and Moon Base or some weird combination. But believe it or not, we actually did pick these both up at the same time from Target. For some reason, there was just an H20 tin inside. Oh. And there we go. Let's see if I was right. Rebel Clash, I did call that. Cosmic Eclipse. And, oh, Vivid Voltage. I thought it was Sun and Moon Base for some reason. And I think it's a Dragonite coin. Suicune this time. Last time we opened some D21s, it was Dragonite. If you haven't checked out that video, it's part of the Costco EV Collection bundle. So we did open those up. Um, I think what we'll do now is we'll take the packs out of the H20 uh, tin so we can compare them. So, like I was mentioning, um, the H20 tins are a little older. Now, the packs that come inside, from what I've seen, are pretty random. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're just really garbage. But, it was really weird. It was in our latest restock at our local Target. And so, we had to pick it up. And we are missing the Ultra Ball for our collection. So, it's still going to be nice to add that in. Alright, let's see. So, these are H20. It comes with Rebel Clash. Cosmic Eclipse and Vivid Voltage. So that's really weird. What I'm thinking they probably did. Oh, and a Suicune coin, of course. What I'm thinking they probably did is they had some old tins left over that they already made. And they probably just put the new packs inside because these were in the same display case as the newer Pokeball tins. To be fair, I guess that's a good thing because I really didn't want like some of the garbage packs that come in the H20 tins. But in a way, it did ruin our pack battle because I don't know how you can do a pack battle with the same thing. So I guess we'll just start opening and we'll of course start with Rebel Clash. This is from the D21 tin. Here's the code card. One, two, three, four. Let's see if it's a psychic energy. Nope. I always forget to guess metal energy. So next pack, I'm definitely guessing metal. Um, we have Litwick, Corsola, Car Carcal, and Sigalith, non hollow rare. And now we'll take the Rebel Clash from the H20 Ultra Ball tin. And we'll see if we can do any better. Now I remember I already did call the metal energy. Let's see these predictions. Oh, water energy. We have Luxio, Dracloak, Binacle, Scyther, Volibee, Dreepy, Magmar, Turfield Stadium, and Duraludon Hollow. First hit of the day. We're going to stick with the H20 and we're going to move right into Vivid Voltage. We'll save the Cosmic Eclipse for last, of course. We still have a bunch of cards we need from Vivid Voltage. Oh, I flipped it over. We can still get an amazing rare though, so we'll put five to the front because green code card usually means no hit. Yep, that's the rare, non hollow. And we'll see if we can get an amazing rare in the back of this pack. I don't know why I flipped it over. I'm a little tired, I guess, today. But here we have a, a, just a, a reverse hollow bath, a bathtub. That's what we got from this pack. All right, hopping in to the vivid voltage from the quick ball. Not gonna make the same mistake again. There we go, smooth transition. Not going to guess the energy. Don't want to take any more L's today. We have Go Go Goat, Sandile, Oshawa, Pineco, Clefairy, Tynamo, Reverse Hollow, Benet, and Manectric Non Hollow. All right, we have our two Cosmic Eclipse packs Ultra Ball, Quick Ball. Let's start with the Quick Ball. 
Um, for Cosmic Eclipse, I think ideally, God, these packs are so flimsy. Uh, we would want a character rare because they're kind of unique to this set. Ooh, backwards code card, but it is green and white. So I guess for the next um, pack, we'll, we'll flip it upside down. One, two, three, four. Um, by the time this video goes, no, no, not by the time this video goes live, sorry. The same night this video gets released, uh, it should be Sunday, we're going to be live streaming and it's going to be a new Pokemon game. So would love if y'all could join us. It should probably be around nine o'clock. So no character rare and oh, Lily's full force. Oh, that's beautiful. We haven't gotten a full art in forever. We haven't gotten any good hits on this channel. And of course, the dry spell had to end. I mean, look at that. The color is just amazing. The camera is barely picking that up. God, that's amazing. Finally, a good card. Y'all know if you're watching these videos, we have been struggling for a while now. Uh, these have a matte finish, these uh, sleeves, so it doesn't make it look as shiny, unfortunately, but that's really nice. We're going to put in a top loader later. All right, last pack. Let's keep that same luck going. This pack artwork is just insane. I love the Cosmic Clips, the, the trio, of course. Would be cool to pull out the tag team. I think there are tag team cards in this set. Um, I do see something shining in the background. Do you guys see that? So make sure to stick around. I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just flip it anyways because we know we got some sort of hit. One, two, three, four. I mean, our luck had to turn around sooner or later, right? Um, but yeah, I would love if y'all could join us for the live stream. It's gonna be a new game. I do think it's gonna be Ash Gray, and my brother's gonna be live streaming it. Uh, of course, I'll be in chat. We're all gonna have a bunch of fun. And on Tuesdays, we are doing Pokemon Showdown battles versus viewers. So if you guys like to play the games, make sure to join us for that. All right, last hit in the last pack. Let's see what it is. Oh, Oracorio GX. I mean, I guess we'll take it. Nothing crazy, but it's still a GX Ultra Rare. So two hits from Cosmic Eclipse is pretty freaking sick. Let me sleeve that up real quick. There you go. As usual, here are our hits. Um, the only big hits that we got were from the Cosmic Eclipse, which I can't complain about. Those are the better packs to get hits from. Uh, this is from the Quick Ball. This one is from the Ultra Ball, so y'all let us know down below, but we personally think that the Quick Ball won on this one. Uh, we did put them in top loaders because this is a full art and this is a cool Ultra Rare GX. We want to start posting shorts every day where we don't have a regular upload so that we can get some more content out to the viewers and it can be more like daily uploads even though they might be a little smaller. If y'all did enjoy this opening and want to see us open more Pokeball tins in the future, uh, let us know down below because we can try and go look for some more of these tins. They're a little hard to find, but if we find some, we'll definitely pick them up if y'all want to watch that. And they do have Cosmic Eclipse inside them at the moment, so it's really entertaining content. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps us out a lot. We're obviously on that road to 250 subscribers. That's our next big goal and comment down below what you want to see us open next. Thanks for tuning in.